Okay, guys, I'd like to talk a little bit about this process on uh, dropping the floor down when it's concrete. Those are the tools we'll be using. This is a grinder here. This is what I'll be using for my plunge cuts on the perimeter. So everywhere where it's marked out, that's where we'll plunge cut. Go from half inch all the way down to inch and three quarters. By the time it gets down to where the drain line is. This is a dusty job. So go ahead and wear your dust mask, fan on, and get to work. Okay guys, we got our uh, perimeter plunge cut all the way around. Now that that's done, now that we can use our roto hammer here, I like to use this bit here, it's a little chisel. Start up here, start knocking out all of this concrete here from half inch to inch and three quarters. But everywhere around here, it's probably going to get busted out. That's about four inches thick right there. So we'll just go ahead and uh, get busy. Okay, so it looks like we achieved our goal. Um, this is another reason why I like to keep that lip on there. Just put my level right there. Is there? We're two inches plus there. So then you just bring it over here to your inch and a quarter. Measure your inch and a quarter. You're, you're plenty. We got plenty. You just do all that down here, inch, and then three quarters. So we're good to go. We did good on this. Now we got our uh, drain, our uh, trap, right where it needs to be centered. And I didn't glue it yet. I take it out. Okay, the drain is in. There is a rubber coupler that goes down onto the main pipe. So I just make sure I got it to the height I want and that it's level. And now I'm ready to float the floor.
Okay, well that's how you float, basically, the uh, sharp end drain. I forgot to mention that quarter of an inch per foot, slope, minimum. Um, there you go.